Good blessed Saturday morning, October the 10th, 2020, 2020, time for the change, time for the vision. I believe it's about 8.30 a.m. Saturday. Uh, I'd like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. Doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't even matter whether you like me, my YouTube channel, Raymond, R-A-Y-M-O-N-D-I-V-I-V-Y. Whether you give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Whether you give me a negative comment or a positive comment. Whether you uh, don't comment at all. I greet all you all the same. Uh, today, I like to say happy blessed birthday to my brother, man, and friend from Cabrini Green, raised up knee high, uh, Dwight Taylor. I like to say happy heavenly birthday to his brother, my other homie uh, from Cabrini Green, raised up from knee high, uh, brother Skippy, Jerome Taylor. Uh, them two brothers are some good brothers. Uh, these is brothers that uh, Skip may rest in peace uh, since I've been down here in Missouri for 25 years or 24 years, brother. Let me correct myself. I'm human. A flesh and blood I'm made. I'm human and uh, born to make mistakes. Uh, but let me tell y'all where I'm at right now. I'm at one of my favorite spots. That truck there you see is going southbound on I-57. This truck here is going northbound on I-57. Every time I see the northbound, I think about my brothers and sisters from Cabrini Green. All of my brothers and sisters and families and friends that's up north. Uh, I miss being up north. But God has me down on the soil of Missouri for a reason. But let me get back to uh, Skip and the White. Skip, when I was up there, people called me and said, do you know a mechanic? Skip would be on the scene of Cabrini Green. <laughs> He can fix and break down anything. May he rest in heaven. The white Taylor, you know, all of us, we go a long ways. There's a lot of us that go a long way. The white Taylor, you know, I would never forget uh, March. I believe it was the 23rd, somewhere around there of 2020. When the coronavirus was really heavy. And my two youngest children's mother passed away and they was having the, the uh, funeral in uh, Griffith, Indiana. I would never forget Dwight the, the Taylor uh, when some of their own brothers and sisters on my side wouldn't come uh, to the funeral because of the coronavirus. But they was shopping in the malls when them stimulus checks came out. But that's their prerogative. You see what I'm saying? That hurt my daughters and them. But you, Dwight Taylor, you made them feel good because you came. You told me, Raymond, I'll come. And you showed up and supported us. You didn't have to come. You could have said the same thing they said. I also got to give it to my niece, uh, Sharika Fizel. You showed up and you helped me a lot with my dad. When he was acting up, when I was trying to take care of some business at the funeral. Can't forget my cousin, Ernestine, Tina, you showed up. You didn't have to. I got to can't forget my homie, Ali Chambers, JB, you showed up. I appreciate it. And I know a lot of y'all other people would have showed up, but they had a limit on people that can come to the funeral. And then the particular family of my uh, daughters and their mother may uh, my daughter's mother's race rest in peace. Uh, they was acting uh, a way that normal human beings don't act when somebody pass away. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. But Shark, David uh, McGowan, I can't forget you. Neither my brother, man and friend. Uh, tomorrow, it'll uh, be uh, on the 11th. It'll be a year when your uh, son, Willie, Passed away. May he rest in peace. Shark, you always been a big brother to me, David McGowan. And I just want to say this here, y'all. 
all of us from Cabrini Green, I'm talking about Cabrini Green, you know, some people say they from Cabrini Green, but to, ab- to be able to be from Cabrini Green, it's, 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 it's a, a unique type of people that came from Cabrini Green. You see what I'm saying? We didn't rob and steal from each other. We didn't kill each other. Now, there have been murders over there, and some of them was justified and some wasn't justified, but we had a, a close-knitted circle of people, and we still have it now. And I just want to say this here because I want to end. Those of you all that's concerned about me down here in Charleston, Missouri, God got me covered with the blood. He haven't let me be down here for 25 for 24 years uh, for nothing. And there's some good people down here. I want y'all to, to just take a look. This I'm just giving y'all my surroundings because a good friend of mine, an elder man, was shot and killed right up in here. Broad daylight. The Charleston, Missouri a police department, the Mississippi County Sheriff Department here in Charleston, Missouri, and nobody else haven't even got close to solving the case. But I take a look around. You see what I'm saying? One thing I can do, I can swim. You see what I'm saying? One thing I can do, I can run. I'm in good shape. <laughs> One thing I can do, I know about this vehicle. It can be a weapon. Uh, Malcolm X said, when the mind is a weapon, you'll never be unarmed. But I'm going to leave y'all with this here. Call and check on somebody. Somebody hurting somewhere, (laughs) y'all. You see what I'm saying? Let's get that challenge going on. Check and see on on all of our family and friends, real family and friends, y'all. Some people don't like the thing I post. But see, I'm not an actor, like I said. If I was an actor, I'd be in Hollywood. I'd be making millions of dollars. You see what I'm saying? I am a activist, y'all. You see what I'm saying? I don't just come out when the police kill somebody. I come out when blacks kill blacks, too. If you take a if you know anything about mathematics, you don't have to be a mathematic genius. If you compare the police killing white police, black, Spanish or anybody else killing black compared to blacks killing blacks, period, just in Chicago alone. And I bet you the blacks killing blacks in Chicago alone will supersede police killing us in all around this nation. Somebody ain't going to agree, but get your pen and paper out. <laughs> just like in LTLA, uh, uh, when the, the little young boy told him the guy he had 24s, he said, get your rule out them 28s. Peace be still. <laughs>